What's up, guys? Baker here. Yes, a transition tutorial. Yes, oh my gosh. Uh, this will be the uh, score flyby, I guess. That's what I'm calling it. I uh, used it in my community montage, and it basically looks like this, and it's pretty sweet. Check it out. Did you catch that? So let's take a look. Get the little plus sign. Oops. And here it comes out of our face. Ah, push. And you can, I didn't have another clip imported, so I just used the same clip, but there you go. So this works for, uh, as far as I know, COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 look really nice. Especially Modern Warfare 2 because the, the score is pretty big and thick. And it's just higher quality and looks nicer in overall. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So we have a clip. And... Uh, if you've seen a couple of my Twixter tutorials, you just know that what I like to do is just Twixter it right when the score comes up, when it is at its largest. So, pretty common nowadays. So, what we're going to do is uh, duplicate the uh, the clip. And we're going to take off Twixter. So, if we go to the effects, just delete Twixter. So, we're going to go in here and find a frame that has the plus sign uh, at its largest. So in COD 4, it's pretty much the same size all throughout. So we'll just use this frame. We're going to right click on the layer, go to time, and freeze frame. So now we've got this frame frozen. And we're going to go to full and go to 200%. And we're going to mask out the plus sign. So with the layer selected, grab your pen tool. And just uh, start making some points uh, around the, the plus sign. Now... You don't really want to do this for the 5 as well, because it's going to look weird if you see uh, two things. You're going to you're gonna see double, basically, and it just won't look nice, because with one thing, it'll just overlap itself, and you won't really be able to see it. So, anyways, if we sold this layer, you can see we got just a little plus sign, and it's not looking too good. So, to fix that, go ahead and take your uh, selection tool, select your layer, go ahead and click on a point, and then with your arrow tools your arrow keys, just kind of move the points how you think they should be fixed. So I'm just going to move this down to the right a little bit and, uh, you know, probably this one up a little bit. You just you just kind of want to make this pretty nice looking. Um, and uh, it doesn't have to be too perfect. I mean, it's going to be going pretty fast, but that, that looks pretty nice. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, since it's frozen at that time, it's going to be playing through the whole clip, and we don't want that. So we'll go back to when we froze it, and then just trim the comp, or the, the layer, actually. So it go up there, and it just stays up there. And what we're going to do is have it fly towards us. So we'll go just maybe a quarter, half a second after the, uh, the score pops up. We're going to go ahead and push P. And first, let's turn this into a 3D layer. And we're going to change the anchor point. So take your pan behind tool and just move this to the center of your plus sign. And set a keyframe for the position. Move forward about a second or so. And we'll start by just sliding this over so it's in the middle of our comp, just around there. And then slide the Z parameter to negative so it flies towards us. And coming in hot. And this is when we can... Uh, you know, just fix the position a little bit, you know, something like that, and just kind of have it fly past us and until it's gone. So what that just did is we have the normal clip, right? It shoots, and here it comes flying in. And because this is actual 3D space, the projection is exponential, so it actually looks like it's flying towards you because it is. So we didn't like scale this up because the speed would have looked weird. So we actually made it a 3D layer and had it fly towards us. So looks pretty nice. And then just to uh, have it fade into the next clip, uh, you want to find the frame when uh, the thing is still up right there. And then the very next frame, uh, have your next clip. So I'll just duplicate this just for the sake of it. Have your next clip. Uh, start at that point. So if you have your clip lined up, just go ahead and trim it to that point. So we get the plus sign coming in, and it'll just, you know, 
just uh, just a quick cut to the next clip. No, no real fade or anything special, but again, a quick recap. Freeze the frame, mask it out, turn it into a 3D layer, and keyframe it to fly at your face, just like some other things that might fly at your face. But, uh, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Transitions are awesome, don't you think, guys? Uh, oh, if you have any more suggestions or ideas, no, come and talk to me. Uh, I'm going to be going over a lot of stuff for my community montage, a lot of transitions and effects, so go ahead and check that out to suggest some ideas. And if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out again or something. You know. You know what I'm talking about, right? So, um, yeah, if you uh, learned something new, go ahead and leave a like, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.